In this video, I'm going to show you the process of creating, editing, and generating a report using ArcGIS Pro. Reports created using ArcGIS Pro can't do everything that a report from OpenPoint Web might be able to, or be as specific, but it can still do some great things and can be created with ease once you know how to do it. First, let's go ahead and create a basic report. To create a report, navigate over to the Insert tab in the ribbon in the top of the screen. Click on the New Report button on the left of the ribbon now. No need to select the drop-down. That allows you to import reports from a file. We have another video on that subject in this playlist if you need more information than that. Now that we have clicked the button, this new window will open. Here, we get a chance to name the report as well as set a layer that the report will interact with. For this report, I'm going to choose to interact with the bank layer. I'm going to create a report that brings up a list of all station numbers for our example here. Now that we have a layer chosen, let's click Next. The next page shows you a list of all options for attributes that a report can display. Here's where you decide what you want your report to tell you about your layer. Since I just want one specific thing, I'm going to unselect all and just go down here and select station number. Now that we have that chosen, we can click Next again. Here we are at the final creation page. This is where we can design the layout. We can decide the formatting for the pages and how much shows on each page, the color styling, and all of the page dimensions. This is where designing your report really begins. Let's go ahead and make it an attribute list with warm tones on regular sized paper. Now we can hit finish and start the next step. Here we can see our report. Now we can put any finishing touches on the report. We can change the size of windows and boxes using the stretch tools. And we have plenty of tabs that can be explored with all of different functions. For example, insert will allow you to add lines, rectangles, and other shapes and icons. And analysis will allow you to insert more in-depth tools. Now, we need to share the report as a PDF so we can view the full report. Head on over to the share ribbon. And on the very right, we need to select PDF with the green arrow. This should bring up a box asking you to name it and choose where to save it. Once we do that, we can click Save and wait for it to be done creating the PDF. Now we have it, fully finished and ready to go PDF. It could look better, but that's because I didn't do any formatting or editing of the display yet. As you can see, you can create some great reports so long as you know what you're doing. 